Good morning. It's Sunday morning, afternoon actually, nearly one o'clock, so time is sticking on. <sighs> yeah, it's been a busy morning. Um, just being nosy. My glasses are filthy. <sighs> anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, busy morning, filming Instant Pot, episode seven, I think it is. Um... So that, we're sort of in the middle of that, actually. I'm sniffly again because the temperature has dropped. But it is very bright and breezy. You can see that it's fairly, fairly bright. Lots of sun, lots of clouds, clouds moving quickly, breezy, cool, <clears throat> typical early spring day, I guess. Don't know whether you can hear the wind coming down the chimney. So yeah, we're in the middle of filming and waiting for the Instant Pot to do its thing on this new dish, which by now you will have seen. It's baked beans, sort of traditional baked beans. And uh, Paul made these um, a couple of times recently and tested them out on me. I was resistant to begin with because I do like the good old tinned baked beans um, on toast or a baked potato. But Paul served me his baked beans on a baked potato with a side order of steamed vegetables a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. And they were delicious. Absolutely delicious. Um, just so tasty, rich, just great. So we thought we'd serve them to you as the next Instant Pot recipe. Um, yeah, so there you go. We've been doing that this morning. We are expecting a visitor later. Vanessa for, uh, Vanessa from For Earth's Sake is doing a mosaic course in this area and she's going to pop over for a cup of tea later. Um, I've got some washing doing. I've done a couple of loads this morning. Yeah, mainly refresh loads, not long, not big loads. Um, refreshing my jumpers, refreshing my jeans. I mean, these are things that don't get dirty. So I don't put them on a three hour wash, you know, like I would for T-shirts and undies and socks. Um, jeans and jumpers just need a quick wash, you know, and then I always give them an extra spin to really get them dry before they go out on the maiden. And of course, I have to be aware that, you know, I can't do like three full loads because I have nowhere to dry them. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And tomorrow's back at work. But it's a lovely short week this week, just three days. I'm off Thursday. It's Good Friday on Friday. Uh, long weekend, off on Monday, bank holiday, Easter Monday. So yeah, lovely. Love this time of year for the holidays. Super. If I get a spare couple of hours, I might try doing some music. I failed miserably at that the other day, though. Time just run away and, you know, chores and all of that. I did have a little afternoon rest yesterday and we went over to a friend's house for dinner, which was lovely. Um, unfortunately, her cat has been diagnosed as diabetic, so she's having to administer insulin to him. And apparently it has made a difference. His behaviour is perked up which is good. He is 16. We know what it's like to have elderly cats in the house. It's stressful, especially when you've got to medicate and give injections, but she's coping fine with that. She's got it down pat now, which is good. Such a stress. Yeah. Anywho. So I think that's it for today. Um... 
yeah, I don't think there's much else on the cards now um, for this afternoon. Just getting on with stuff, having a little rest, seeing Vanessa. And then our usual evening of settling down in front of the TV. Yeah. I did think to myself, I sort of wonder why anybody watches this vlog. Because our lives are so small. We don't really do that much at the moment. You know, it's one long round of chores, videoing, looking out the window. <laughs> we do lead incredibly boring lives, you know. We occasionally get out to do things and see people. But generally, it's, you know, we're pretty housebound at the moment. I mean, if you're going to go out at this time of year, you sort of have to prepare um, for bad weather, for rain. And if we are going to go anywhere, it's it means a drive in the car. So, you know, that's spending money on petrol. So, yeah, we're pretty restricted, but... We do have a few things coming up, so no doubt we will take you on the journey with us. And we do have a big house project starting the week after Easter. The external paintwork is going to be done. Uh, we've hired a, a builder guy and he's going to be supervising the scaffold going up around the house. Uh, Paul has spoken to a couple of the neighbours. There's one neighbour that he hasn't got hold of because they're away until next week. So that's something that will be happening. Whether we will be interviewing the builder who's doing the work on camera, I don't know. Depends on them. So, yeah. That's a big project. Not that we're doing it. And not that it's going to cause that much disruption, particularly. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of stress involved, I would imagine. We tend to get stressed about these things anyway. You know, worrying that it's all going to go according to plan and things like that. Um, you know... It's the way of things, isn't it? Hey-ho. We'll be glad when it's been done because it really is desperately needed. There are several cracks, small cracks, not, you know, they're not structural things. Um, and there's a lot of peeling paintwork and the window frames, which are wooden in certain parts of the house, uh, desperately need to be done as well. So it's long overdue. And seeing as we're not moving this year, we thought we'd just get that work done. Done and out of the way. So yeah, there you go. I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time. So it's Sunday afternoon. The clouds are beautiful. Glowing. Spring sky. Gorgeous. Good evening. It's Monday evening. Just got in from work and got changed. As you can see, it's very bright. Yeah, the light is really changing now. We're really coming into the new season. And it's also a little bit annoying because I'm waking up early. This happens every single bloody change of season. My sleep patterns change and I end up waking around, I don't know, half four, even though it's not light. I just wake up wide awake and then can't get back to sleep. So I'm feeling a little tired this evening. That's OK. Not a problem. It's a short week. And I've just had a cream egg. So 
all is well with the world. So, rewind yesterday afternoon, Vanessa came over. Uh, she'd been doing a mosaic course, as I mentioned, with Sarah Stanley, who you can look up on Instagram. Um, fabulous mosaic artist. Mosaicist, I think they call themselves. Um, and Vanessa learned some um, good skills and tips. Um, she's doing a mosaic floor in the Great Green Barn, where the Morris dancers were that day. Um, when there was a picture of me, I don't know whether you saw that, but anyway, blah, 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 doesn't matter. Um, so, yes, yeah, she, she had a good day. Um, she popped over for tea and cake, which was nice. And then we chilled out in the evening, um, and today has been work. This morning was a little bit frantic. I was sort of bombarded with a few things, including a, an emergency uh, call out for a leaky toilet. And they didn't come. So my colleague had to do some mopping up with towels and we switched off the valve to the loo, so, and it's upstairs as well, so it's coming through the ceiling to the building below, which is a respite centre. So that was a bit of a pain in the backside, but yeah, so I was a bit bombarded, and then this afternoon it's been fairly quiet, so I think it's sort of winding down for the Easter period now. That's okay. Um... Yeah, I was a little bit narked earlier because I was I was at work and I was well I was walking home from work. And at work we've got all these absolutely gorgeous patches of daffodils. And I said to Paul, you know, in the 16 years that I've been there, those daffodils have flowered every single year without fail and seem to get better and better and better. Whereas the ones we've got in the back garden have all failed. They gave one year of, sh of a show, including the tulips, and they just failed. So I want to know what those bloody daffodils are. I tell you, it's really annoying when you spend the best part of two days planting bulbs, backbreaking work, crawling through bushes and underneath trees to ensure a beautiful spring display that will hopefully last a few years and then you get one year and they fail. <clears throat> so annoying. Anywho. So, yeah. I do feel a bit <sighs> this evening. That's okay. We're having baked beans and baked potato this evening for dinner. Yum. So I'm looking forward to that. I've got a bit of editing to do, a bit of uploading to do. And yeah, that's it. So I hope your week is going well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Good evening. It's Tuesday evening. And it's chucking it down absolutely chucking it down out there. It's been grey and overcast most of the day. There was a little bit of brightness this morning, but it's, yeah, cold and damp. Hurrah. You see, that's the thing about spring. Oh, that rhymes. That's the thing about spring. It can be a thing. <laughs> I haven't got any poetry in me this evening, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, you know, spring in the UK can be absolutely glorious. We've had plenty of marches that have been absolutely beautiful. Um, blossom everywhere, flowers everywhere, beautiful blue skies, clouds, lovely temperatures, outside in a T-shirt, all of that. We've had those, but then we can have them like this, where it rains for two weeks at Easter. I can remember going on holiday at Easter to my granddad's caravan. 
and uh, he had a couple of caravans and we'd go for sort of I don't know a week and a half something like that and it would rain the whole time we'd spend the whole time indoors with colouring books and games yeah going to visit you know castles and things in the rain yeah so it's really hit and miss it always has been in the UK that's why people flee to other countries warmer climes as they call it so how has the day been okay I was pretty knackered this morning because yet again I woke up early well before dawn just, just hate this time of year for that, for the, the sleep deprivation. I know it's not anywhere near as bad as having a small child or animals, dare I say it. Because I remember those days of being sleep deprived with the cats. They'd wake up in the middle of the night, decide to do a crazy run around the house and then a fight on the bed with each other um, so you know we're fortunate we don't have those disturbances but change of season oh gets me every year twice a year and then of course in the summer we've got the early early dawn where it gets light at half three in the morning and the birds start tweeting loudly because you've got the windows open Anyway, so how has today been? Hello. Hello. I'm just doing my vlog, Paul. Look, there's oh. Paul's head. Can you go on? I can go on. I can hardly go on. What are you on, saying? Then. I was just wondering if you'd finished. Yeah, I'm ready to eat. Bring dinner to me It'll now. Be 10, 15 minutes. Oh, God. Um, how has the day been? I felt quite tired. Um, it's been busy-ish in places, but it really feels like the holiday season has started. I said that last week. But it really is strangely quiet at the moment. Having been, having the winter months been so, ugh, can't speak. Having had the winter months as pretty busy months, this time of year seems oddly quiet. Not sure why. Can't explain it. But anyway, this afternoon was a bit of a drag, to be honest. There wasn't that much work to do for me. Uh, a few documents. Um, no visitors this afternoon at all and then it started to feel as though it was going dark at four o'clock felt as though we're going backwards oh and then the rain came down so anyway yeah done a little bit of um uploading for the uh, instant pot video just done that so paul's making some pasta We'll eat, we'll watch TV, probably fall asleep too early. Hey-ho, that's it. I'm not feeling terribly inspired, to be honest. And again last night, I felt as though I was coming down with a cold. I felt really tired and rough and just, ugh, I think it's just tiredness. It's probably impatience with the season. I want things to move on. I want to feel the warmth. I want to feel some heat and have the windows open. And I'm sick of feeling cold in the evenings. Hey ho, what can you do? I'll say goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. My last day of the week. <sighs> yeah, super long weekend. Looking forward. Bye for now. Oh, it's Wednesday evening and um, I'm cooking dinner tonight 
So Paul's just got in from Cranley. Say hello, Paul. Hello. And uh, I've made some dinner using the baked beans, using a portion of baked beans. I'm just waiting for things to cook. Let me turn the light on, turn you round and show, show you what I've cooked. See, it might be spring, but it gets dark so quickly. Anywho, I've done a stew. There we are. So the swede, carrots, potatoes, onions, peas, green beans, celery. There's a portion of baked beans in there. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the green beans and the peas to cook. They're frozen. But it hopefully is going to be really hearty and delicious. It looks a bit pale on here, but it's not. It's got a gorgeous colour. Swing you back round. And I've got a wash on as well. Look in the camera, Richard. Look in the camera. I've got a wash on as well. So I've been quite busy this evening, which is good. I'm pleased that I finished work for the week. That's great because it's been a bit of a challenge this week. And yet again, I feel like I've got a cold in the evening. Not sure why this keeps happening. I think it's because it gets cold still in the evening. And it's still dark and grim and it's been raining today as well. Yeah, so there you go. There's not much else to report. We're gonna chow down shortly. It's gonna be about five, 10 minutes. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Good morning. Good bloody morning. Just being nosy. It's Thursday morning. I'm at home. As you know, it's my day off. Lovely long weekend. <laughs> How beautiful. Look at my chandelier. Sparkling. It's not really, it needs a bloody good dust. It really does. Anyway, blah, 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 things. What have I been up to this morning? I've been quite busy, actually, but it is absolutely chucking it down. It's windy. I've had an email from Kew Gardens, of all people, to say that they'll be closed this afternoon due to high winds. Let's swing you around. Hold on. So as you can see, it's chucking it down. It's very breezy. Blossom's almost gone, although the Forsythia or Forsythia, whichever you prefer, I prefer Forsythia, is looking like a little golden ball. I'm gonna do some serious shaping up with that bush this year. I'm gonna really cut it back. But yeah, it's um, yeah very busy this morning, very busy. Did I mean that? I meant very breezy. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know who I am. Yeah, it's been a really uh, breezy morning today and it's not feeling too cold. Um, but I've had the windows open for a blow through. I've got a wash on, doing my um, cleaning cloths, tea towels. They've been soaking this morning. What else have I been doing today? I uh, put some washing away, fixed a blind cord to the wall, not to the wall, but you know, with a blind cord, this is the one in the bathroom. You have those little things that you secure the cord to the wall with. I put one of those up, it only took me a few minutes, but I'd saved one. So I said to Paul, look, this is what happens when you save things that you might need at some point in the future. You can do the job quickly, easily. Yeah. Anyway, Paul's gone out to show someone how to turn the water back on at the plots. So he's gone out in the rain, in the wind and the rain. Yeah, but it is starting to look like spring. Let me swing you around again. As you can see, the birch tree is in the street, that is, uh, it leafing up, basically. The calicarpa 
this straggly looking one with the beautiful purple berries. This is starting to leaf up. I was going to get out here and do some gardening this morning, but the rain stopped me, hurrah. We've got lots of euphorbia coming up in the back, in the front yard. This is the small front garden that we have. Yeah, but it's very wet. And to be honest, I'm glad that rain stopped me from gardening because it's that job that I really don't enjoy. I'm not a gardener. I'm really not a gardener at all. It's the backache that's involved. It's the bending and stretching and all of that, which I just oh, can't be asked. But I do do it because it's got to be done. Nobody else is going to do it. Paul's not going to do it. He hasn't got time. But yes, I was going to get out there this morning. First thing, it was quite sunny. But now it's horrible. Yeah. So... What else am I going to do today? I'm just going to continue with chores. I've cleaned the bathroom. I think I mentioned that this morning. Um, didn't take me long. Everywhere's pretty clean anyway. Yeah. I'm wandering aimlessly now. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, no, better crack on. I'll see you later. Good afternoon. It's Thursday afternoon. I'm on dinner duty again. So I'm throwing together a lasagna. Yeah, just a quick one. Well, it doesn't take a quick time to cook. It takes a while to cook. And I'm using the oven. I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. Awful lighting in here. I look horrendous. I look like Ursula Andress after she's gone into the flame at the end of the film. Hold on. So I've got a portion of baked beans left. And I thought I'd cook a chopped pepper, throw those baked beans in, along with a handful of mince. It's already a very rich sauce, that baked bean recipe. And then I'm going to make a cheese sauce, build it into a bean and red pepper lasagna. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Simple. It'll cook for about an hour in the oven. I've put the oven on, look. <gasps> How naughty. How naughty. We never put the oven on these days. It's a complete and utter luxury, but I don't think that little combi microwave affair will actually cook my lasagna. I want it baked. Baked. It's got to be baked. I might even do a few chips. Well, it is Easter, after all. Yeah. Got to enjoy yourself. Yeah. Just checking the meter. We've got one of those smart meters that does actually work. It's not a broken one. But, you know, you put the appliances on, you just watch it go. <laughs> Anywho, it's Easter, it's holiday. Holiday time, holiday. So I'll show you the lasagna once it's made and you can judge for yourself whether it's going to be good or not. It'll be tasty, I can absolutely assure you. I'm good at lasagna. Oh yeah. So my lasagna is put together. I'll just show you, turn you around. And there we are, it's all ready for the oven. I made a cheese sauce, layered it up. Let's pop it in the oven, yes. It's about 180. say goodbye to that and I tend to bake lasagna for about about an hour till it's really golden and I do sometimes put a foil lid on um, in fact should I have put a foil lid on that one no I think it's going to be okay I might turn the heat down just slightly to 160 bake it for about 35 minutes and then turn the heat up so that's what I'm going to do yeah there you go. It's been cooking for, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes. I think it's probably ready. I'm going to take it out of the oven and have a look. Let's see. Oh yeah, that looks good. If the camera would focus. Yeah, I think that's cooked.
voila, we're going to eat. See you later. Good afternoon. It's Friday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Today's been fairly busy, but a nice relaxed pace, which is good. It's Good Friday, so it means the holidays have started. The long weekend that we're all so grateful for. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Weather-wise, we've had this really bad wind howling around for a couple of days. It's still quite breezy, but it's very bright. Um, yep, today's been fairly busy. Recorded Sunday chat, just a short one this week, because we've got stuff going on. Um, so that's out of the way. Washed my hair earlier, um, gave it a tone up, so it's more of a sort of silvery colour, whether you can tell. It's really weird how hair looks on camera and angles because it's really big, my hair today, but it doesn't look that big. Maybe it's just me that thinks it looks big, I don't know. Looks like the Queen, no, today. Strange, it's very curly. Anyway, so I gave it a wash and a tone up, um, did my eyebrows as well, as you can see there. Freshly darkened because they're going grey now. And as I've said before, I draw the line at grey eyebrows. I really do. Yeah. So today, yeah, Sunday chat. Had leftover lasagna for lunch with baked beans, which was lovely. Um, I'm doing some editing this afternoon. Done a couple of jobs, done a wash. Um, yeah, just pottering at a leisurely pace, seeing as it is holiday. Um, so one thing that's annoyed me today is the neighbours. We have a neighbour over the back way. They're fairly new to the area. I think it's a couple of years. Their son plays ball games. I think he's a budding footballer. Um... And I've noticed recently they got a, a basketball thing as well. So the amount of ball games has increased. And when they're playing, all I hear in the background is do, 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 for sort of half an hour to an hour at a time. And balls regularly get propelled over onto our garden, which is really crap if you're trying to sit down and relax in the back garden, or you're in the dining room, or the middle room, or at the top of the house. We don't say anything because, you know, live and let live and all of that, and children, you know, need to have exercise and enjoyment and blah, 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 but it's bloody annoying. It really is, and it really gets on my tits, frankly. I'm being honest. I mean, I don't, I don't say anything, you know. Um, and they do ask politely for their balls back, and we do throw them over. But you know when something annoys you, but you're not allowed to say because you'd come across as a really grumpy horrid person um sorry i'm being nosy you'd come across as a grumpy horrid person and you don't really want to appear to be a horrid person you want to be cool and let people get on with what they do but it's just the most annoying noise now i fully recognize that when i was a child i played with balls i was probably one of the most annoying children in the street we made a lot of noise and it probably drove people mad. And it was well before the days of double glazing as well, you know, which affords a little bit of soundproofing. But it just annoys me. It really annoys me. What also annoys me is screaming children as well. And very often they have a friend over during the summer and that friend screams a lot. Mm. 
I haven't even got the words to say, really. It's just very annoying. This is the price that you pay living in an area that is filled with families. And what I also notice as well, I mean, having been here for 20 years, we've seen a number of families come and go. Um, sorry, I'm just having some of my tea. And we've also seen children grow up, go from being sort of eight or nine year olds through the teenage years and, you know, grow up and calm down. We've seen that a couple of times. We've also seen groups of feral children roaming the streets. And actually there are a few at the moment who always look as though they're not up to much good. Mm, you know what I mean. Teenagers. I was a teenager. I remember being a teenager. I was one of those rebellious teenagers. I was the one smoking behind the bike shed. I was the one going into the off license to buy alcohol because I looked older than everybody else because I was tall. You know, I was the one that um, stole alcohol from my parents sneakily, sometimes at lunchtime. I know. Go back to school slightly tipsy. Uh, don't judge me. I had a turbulent teenage years. Um, so I know what it's like. But now I've reached this age, I don't want to hear other people's children doing anything. But you have to when you live in a neighbourhood. We are tolerant and people are tolerant of us. I mean, you know, over the years, over the 20 years we've been here, We've had some wild parties. We're talking four in the morning playing ABBA with the back doors open. <laughs> we must have really pissed the neighbours off. But most of those neighbours that used to live around here have gone. There's only a few of the originals left. People move on. People sell up and move on. Or people, you know, finish their rental period in a property and move somewhere else. So it's the way of things. But neighbours are annoying. But you see, I think we're good neighbours. I think we're pretty quiet now. And we don't complain about things. Maybe we should. Maybe it's our turn to become the neighbours from hell. I'd be a good neighbour from hell. Yeah, I'd make a good Karen. I'm joking. I wouldn't want that stress of being a complete pain in the ass because it must be stressful. Anywho, I'm going now. I've got shit to do. <sighs> See you soon. Bye for now. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. It's beautifully bright. Blue skies, sunshine, no wind. Well, a gentle breeze. Yeah, it's Saturday. Lovely Saturday. It's feeling really long this weekend. I'm really pleased that I had Thursday off. It's really elongated the, the weekend and just enabled me to feel a little bit more relaxed about things, which is very nice. Um, yeah, just good. And we've got two more days left. We're going over to see Vivi tomorrow. 
So I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, it's all good. Nothing much to report. Um, had a technical hitch on Sunday chat, so it meant we had to re-record it this morning, which was a bit annoying. But that's okay. <sighs> Tis what it is. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Let me show you. It's very bright out there. Bright and sunny. You open these blinds. Look at that sky. Gorgeous, deep blue, beautiful. Oh, lovely cloud, gorgeous. Perfect, yeah, lovely. Let's have a look out the back, probably through my dirty windows. I cut my hair yesterday, I didn't say. Just took a centimeter off made a big difference. Let me swing you around. Bathed in sun. Lovely. I guess I should really get out there because I think it's quite warm in the sun today. Let's have a look at what the temperature is out there in the direct sun, because that's where the sensor is. It's sort of hanging out the toilet window, um, catching the direct sun. Let's see. Yeah, 20 degrees outside and a measly 14 degrees inside. And pressure's going up because we've had a, a real low pressure system over the UK. It's saying it's going to rain, but that might be just because it's registering a low pressure. Oh, temperatures just dropped to 19. We had a really cool night last night. Yeah, temperature dropped and it felt quite cool in the house. So yeah, there you go. We're not out of the woods yet. It can remain cool in the UK for quite some time. No, I noticed it's quite breezy again. Anywho, I think that's me for the week. I'm going to sign off. Wish you a very happy Easter. Hope you have a lovely time, whatever you're doing, seeing family, friends, eating chocolate, whatever. And I'll see you for a, a new week of vlogs. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.